While the news of those layoffs might not come as a surprise for anyone that's paid attention to the Stillwater mine over the past few years, the sheer volume of them is a shock. And that's why many are concerned over their family's future. It's scary. That was really the only word that could encapsulate the emotions Thursday. You know, that's our livelihood. I've spent a lot of my life up there. Both for employees at the mine. It's going to be very difficult knowing we have 60 days left potentially to go up there and remain focused. And their loved ones at home. Well, as a family of six, it's a huge stressor because, you know, it's not just the two of us. Stressors caused by the questions surrounding the future of the Stillwater mine after restructuring was announced that will lead to nearly 700 employees losing their jobs. They may just shut their doors completely. And then what? That's a lot of families because a lot of this county works up at that mine. Yeah, it's very frustrating because you spend so much time working up there. These people become like your family. This employee didn't get Thursday's layoff letter, so wanted to remain anonymous. Layoffs beginning on November 12th will drop the total number of employees from 1,680 to under 1,000. The affected employees will be eligible for benefits through November 30th. But it isn't just the number of employees losing their job, it's the operations affected that raises alarm. The Nye Mine will be placed on care and maintenance, meaning no more production, while the East Boulder Mine and the metallurgical operations will be significantly reduced. It'll affect all the way down the valley, all the way to Billings. Effects that are sure to impact much of the region. Sabanye Stillwater Vice President Kevin Robertson said they had no choice in making the cuts, as palladium, the mine's biggest export, continues to lose value. From his letter, we have not had a profitable operation since the third quarter of 2022. In 2023, our Montana operations lost over $265 million. We have lost an additional $87 million in the first half of 2024, bringing the total to over $350 million in losses since the beginning of 2023. You know, we're just tired of struggling um, paycheck to paycheck. Haley Sabransky and her husband have had front row seats to the demise, first moving to Columbus to work for the mine in 2012. 12, now selling their house and looking for new jobs. We just wanted to change. My husband wants out of the working conditions there. Fears felt by many with concerning times ahead. So the uncertainty makes it very difficult. In Stillwater County, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.